Hey guys, Justin from Justin Smoky Mountain Reviews. We got another unboxing today. So recently with all of my fishing videos and stuff, I had bought a GoPro. That way I can do a first person point of view. Um, so with that, I need something to carry my GoPro and the batteries in. Because the GoPro is great. It's just the batteries don't last that long on it. So you do have to have extra batteries and then you have to have accessories for the GoPro in order to do what you are wanting to do. You get like B-rolls, cinema shots. Um, I wear this thing called a, um, a chesty. So it's like a thing that goes right here. I'll actually do an unboxing of that because I got a GoPro version of that also. So uh, today we have the GoPro day tripper backpack it's supposed to be water resistant and it does feel like it would be pretty good at resisting water um, here on the front you have a pocket that is all of this is part of this pocket right here whenever you open it up you have another pocket right here and this right here is the main reason that I bought this bag. Pretty stupid reason, I guess, but I don't have to worry about my GoPro getting messed up. So it's got spots right here. It's got four of them that you can maneuver around. It's Velcro. You can make your holding spots bigger or smaller. This right here has a zipper. And this is waterproof these this pocket right here with this kind of lining is waterproof so that's where you would put like your batteries and stuff like that um let's close this part up now right here you've got a water bottle spot another water bottle spot or you could use it for whatever really now there's a zipper that goes down to about right here a lot of people are complaining about that but the way i see that is it's good because if you're traveling somewhere it would be easier for someone to unzip your zipper if you're in a crowded area with regular zippers so that's a complaint that everyone is complaining about but i think it's actually a good idea so you have a very big area right here there's a silica we don't need it but anyways you got your big pocket you can fit a lot of things in there from what i've seen this will hold the gopro drone and all of that um gopro drone's pretty good size so if it'll hold that then that's great you have a pocket right here that will hold, you could probably fit like an iPad in there or something like that. But right here, you've got more or another pocket that's fairly deep that is waterproof. So for instance, you could put your wallet in here. It's got a spot right here with a little clip that you could hang your keys from. You could put a external power bank in here. Anything that you want to keep dry, you could put in this pocket right here. I love that. I love that. Because, I mean, the GoPro itself is waterproof. The batteries are not. Let's zip her back up real quick. Uh, at any point in time, guys, if you just hit that like and subscribe button, that helps the channel out tremendously. And it helps with the algorithm too. That way YouTube will start suggesting my videos. Um, you've got your backpack strap, but we'll get to that in a minute because it's also got some special features on it. But you flip your backpack over right here or your backpack straps, shoulder straps, you flip it back and you have another pocket, another zipper. This is one thing that a lot of people have really been complaining about is that you have to flip over these shoulder straps to get to this. 
That's not a big deal to me because this is a laptop holder and it's also got a spot for a water bag. So like say you're hiking or whatnot, you can run your water bag in here. You can fill it up, run it out, run it down the shoulder straps and drink water. Um, the thing I don't like about it or I wouldn't trust about it, this is your laptop. That's where your laptop goes. There is this little divider right here that separates a water bag and your laptop. Water and electronics do not mix. So I would be iffy on using it for a water bag if you're carrying your laptop. If you're not carrying your laptop, go ahead, throw the water bag in there because your GoPros are already waterproof. Um, I do like that fact. So right here, you'll see my finger going through this hole. That is where you put your straw from your water pack through. And then you will I'll sip it up. Then you'll run it out. It'll go through this little holder right here. You run it out and down. And it has this little clip that you clip it onto so you don't lose it. Or it's not just hanging around doing whatever it is that it's going to do while you're busy. Right here is a GoPro mount. So you could actually mount your GoPro on this backpack and wear it. It does have two extension straps. One for your chest and well, thought it had one. Yeah, right here. One for your waist. Um, I'm a big boy, so I don't know if the waist want to fit. If not, no big deal. I don't ever wear these anyways, because I do not like feeling restricted at all. Um, the back of it, uh, if you guys would just hit that subscribe button for me real quick, that would help out a lot. And thank you guys in advance. <clears throat> you have this very, very padded. And the way it's designed is when you are wearing it, you've got this area right here that allows for air to come down and go through. That way your back's not getting all sweaty. Now, I mean, you're gonna get sweaty if you're hiking. You're gonna get sweaty for a lot of things, but that right there will help not be as sweaty if that's what happens. So let's go ahead and get to this. We have the GoPro Chesty, which is GoPro's chest mount. I've been using a little cheap one that came in a kit that I think I paid $24.99 for. It's a Walmart special kit made by On. It comes with a, a lot of different things. It works perfect, but GoPro has the better product. I mean, it's made for a GoPro, so it's obviously going to be better. I like the material on it way better already. It seems to be... So this goes on you like this. It'll pretty much go over you and sit right here. Um, it is stretchy and it doesn't feel like that cheap stretchy that you can get that <clears throat> feels like the elastic's gonna wear out. Um, it's padded. Uh, from my understanding, you can actually set up a side mount on this one. So, let's see. You can set up a side mount so you can do a vertical video instead of a horizontal video. Um, that's going to be awesome because you can use that for YouTube shorts. You can use that for TikTok videos. Do with it what you will. Um... Most of the time, I use mine horizontal. That way, it gives you a better point of view. Um, like I said, this one is like hands down. I ain't even put it on yet, but I can tell you it's a thousand times better than the cheaper one that I got. I knew that going into it, it would probably be that case because GoPro makes the camera. 
GoPro makes this. So they probably started making this when they was working on newer model cameras. So go GoPro, I will commend you on that. Another thing I like about this one is this little spot right here does not have a slit in it. The cheaper ones have slits in them right here and right here, which will allow this to come out. Then it's a pain to get it back in. I just literally, not even 30, 45 minutes ago, had that happen to me while I was fishing. Um, not good. So when I left there, I stopped at Walmart and I bought this. This was, I wanna say $35.99 or $39.99. If you have a GoPro subscription, you actually get a discount on the items in the GoPro shop. Um, video's not sponsored, let's just say that. I bought this with my own money. This day tripper bag, I wanna say was $119.99, but with my discount for being a GoPro subscriber, I wanna say I got it for like $89.99. This on the Go, I wanna say actually I paid $39.99 for this at Walmart. On the GoPro shop, I think it's $34 or $35.99. Um, if you guys have hit that like and subscribe button, helps the channel out tremendously. Uh, along with this, you get a actual GoPro mount. GoPro mounts are the only ones that have this, and it does say GoPro on it, so that's a plus. Now, when you're wearing the chesty, they say to put this mount like this. That way, whenever you're... Actually, hold up, let's see. I'll figure out how it goes on in a minute. Actually, I know how it goes on. You gotta lift this rubber piece up and that allows that to bend in a little bit. And then you close it. But there is a, don't know if the camera is gonna show it. No, camera's not gonna show it. Anyways, you have to trust me on this. On this one, there is a line that goes right here. And if you will place it in the line, your GoPro that goes in here also has a line on the bottom of the stand that slides in here. If you will line those up, it will be a perfect POV shot. That's been my issue right now with trying to do POV videos with the cheap one is it doesn't work that way. Um, but if you guys have hit that like and subscribe button, like I said, that'll help me out. Leave me some comments. Tell me if you have GoPros, what you use your GoPros for. Um, I love my GoPro and I think I've only had it maybe three weeks. I bought the uh, Hero 12. Um, if I was smart about it, I would have bought it from GoPro. Uh, and bought the subscription at the same time because on GoPro's website, it's $349.99. I bought mine for $3.99 at Walmart. So I could have saved 50 bucks right there. So what I paid for the GoPro itself at Walmart, I could have paid for the GoPro and the subscription service. The subscription service is on a discount right now for half off. I paid $24.99 for it for the first year. It goes up to $49.99 after that. Um, with it though, you do get perks. I think you get up to like 10 GoPro accessories that are heavily discounted. You get um, $100 off of a new GoPro camera after one year of subscription. Um, what else? You get, um, you get, as long as you're a subscriber, they will repair your GoPro if it breaks. That's what I love about it. That's the main reason I bought it, because spending that much on a GoPro and then something happening to it, then you're screwed out of money at that point. I have to work for everything that I buy. Nothing is sponsored, nothing is, nothing is paid for for me. I pay for it. So that is security for me at that point. I did the same thing with my iPhone 15 Pro Max. 
I paid for the protection from Apple. Hopefully nothing ever happens to it, but if it does happen to it, then I am prepared. I am ready for anything when it comes to like something happening to my phone or something happening to my GoPro because I use both of them for my YouTube videos. Um, I bought the GoPro for fishing, like I said, because it's waterproof. My phone's not. Yes, it's protected under the warranty and the extra Apple Care that I pay for, but I would be without a phone for probably a week until they could ship me a new one out. Um, and I would have like, a, it'd be like insurance mostly, so you'll have a deductible. I think it's like $100 for my screen if it cracks or whatnot. But I ain't, we ain't even going there. I've got a screen protector on it. It's good. But if you guys have hit that like and subscribe button, got the GoPro Day Tripper bag, and I've got the GoPro Chesty Mount. I've got my GoPro also. If you guys would like to see that real quick, I've got it in a little bag right now until my one came in. That's my GoPro. GoPro Hero 12. Awesome little thing. I was iffy on GoPros for the longest time because I didn't think with a camera this small that it could produce such good quality video. So if you guys would just hit that like and subscribe button, we'll be back with more videos pretty soon. I've actually got a couple in the works right now. Um, just in Smoky Mountain Reviews. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your coworkers, tell everybody. Come subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. We have a good time. We watch some videos. I'll make some videos. I'm going to make videos regardless, but come watch them. Thanks, guys. Once again, hit that like and subscribe button. Deuces.